Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to hide buttons, divs, images or any other element in JavaScript dynamically. So first I'm going to create some elements that I'm going to hide. Um, so we have a paragraph, a div tag, and let's say an input type uh, text or something like that, or maybe a button. You can use an image as well they're all HTML elements. So here we have three of them. So how do we hide them? Well, it really depends on what you want to accomplish. There are different ways of hiding an element. So I'm going to show some of them in this tutorial. Let's say I'm going to call a function um, query selector to select one of those elements so we can get a, an object to refer to it. And once we get the object, you can use the style property and assign display property to none, and that will hide uh, one of those elements. So in this case, we, we have hidden the paragraph tag. Uh, another way is to use the remove function, but this will completely remove that element physically from the document object model. So it's not just hiding it, we're physically removing that element. So I'm going to create some variables that refer to all of our three elements. So we can refer to them by variable name. So here we have the paragraph, the div, and the input field that I created. You can select your own elements by using CSS selectors. So to remove the button, I'll use the variable E2 and remove. Or again, you can use the style property with display none um, this will not display it, but it's still going to be part of the document object model. So it's still there, it's just not being displayed. You can remove all three elements by using the remove method, and that's what I just did. Also, instead of using the query selector, let's say we have an ID here um, to refer to this paragraph. You can use another function called getElementById and you select it by ID and again you can remove it that way. Now you can also hide the element using the visibility property by setting it to hidden. Uh, it will still occupy the space physically. It will just be not be rendered uh, visually in, in the browser but again the space of that element will still affect other items around it. You can change this back to the query selector but when you do that, make sure you use the hashtag to select that element by ID. Or if you want to select an element by its class name, you can do that as well. So let's say this one is class div. And using the query selector function, we use the dot selector. And it's going to select the element um, by its class name. So here we apply the visibility hidden to it. And likewise, you can do this same thing with the button. So now we, we have hidden the button. 